So far, all of our waveform plots have been functions of time. Sometimes, however, it's useful to display one signal as a function of another. For example, we can plot one voltage in a circuit versus another voltage, or a current as a function of a voltage. Oscilloscopes create what are called XY plots, which provide the capability for doing exactly this. In this project, we'll create an XY plot which displays the current through the diode as a function of the voltage across the diode. Most circuit components are described mathematically in terms of the relationship between the voltage and current at their terminals. This relationship is commonly called the voltage-current characteristic for the component. This project picks up where the fourth scope tutorial project left off. We'll be using the same circuit we used in that project. We'll also use the current waveform created by our math channel in the last project to create our diode voltage-current characteristic. First, let's talk in a bit more detail about XY plots. XY plots show one measured variable as a function of another. This is a surprisingly useful thing to do. Plotting one sinusoidal voltage signal versus another creates something called a Lissajous figure. These figures can be used to determine relationships between the two sinusoids, which are considerably more difficult to determine from the individual sinusoidal signals as a function of time. Another example is the voltage current characteristic I mentioned previously. We'll plot a voltage current relationship for our LED in this project. Voltage current relationships are used to create mathematical models of circuit components. Engineers then use these relationships to design and analyze electrical circuits containing these components. An example of a voltage current relationship is Ohm's law, which we used in the fourth scope tutorial project. Ohm's law allowed us to determine the current through the resistor from the resistance and the voltage across the resistor. It relates voltage and current by resistance. The voltage current relationship for diodes is exponential. The shape of the curve is like this. This backs up our previous description of how diodes work. At low voltages, virtually no current goes through the diode. Above some threshold voltage, maybe in here, the diode flows current very readily. Now let's use our oscilloscope to generate this curve for our LED. My oscilloscope is set up just as it was at the end of the fourth oscilloscope tutorial video. The waveform generator is also producing the same input voltage that we used in that project. We've already created a math channel which gives us the current through the diode, the red line, so all we need to do is generate the XY plot. To create an XY plot, click on the Add XY button. An XY plot window opens with a dialog box which allows us to choose the channels to put on the X and Y axes of the plot. We'll put the diode voltage, channel 1, on the x-axis, and the diode current, math channel 1, on the y-axis. This gives us a plot that looks about right. We can adjust the scales on the xy plot by adjusting the scales on the waveform plot. For example, diode current never goes negative, so the negative y-axis is useless. We can change the offset of our math channel to eliminate this wasted space. We can also adjust the scale on channel 1 if we want. The size of the XY window can also be changed by clicking and dragging the border between the main plot window and the XY plot window. 